Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to block junk mail on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, I'm gonna open up the mail app here. I'm on my iPhone using the default app. Of course, you can use, say, the Gmail app. If you have a different mail server or mail client, you might be using that app as well. Let's go into this email here, and I never signed up for this. I don't know what this is, and I want to go through the process of blocking it. So I'm gonna, at the very top, tap on the name Nickel right here. And you can see, now that I've tapped on it, I have this option to block this contact. So I can tap Block Contact, and it says, are you sure you want to block this contact? I can hit Yes. And now that I hit done, you can see at the very top, it says this messenger is a sender in your block list. And it has a little circle around it with a line indicating that they've been blocked. Now you have another option too, is if you go back and just swipe to left on this email, you can hit more and you can do two things. One is at the very bottom, you can hit block sender if you don't wanna go through this entire process. Or you can also hit move to junk. This will automatically filter this into your junk folder. Now keep in mind, depending on your settings, blocking somebody will do different things. So let's open up your settings here and let's scroll down to mail and tap on that. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see block sender options and it says mark block sender, and I can turn that on or off, and then actions, I can either choose to leave it in the inbox if I wanted to see it, or if I didn't want to, I can hit move to trash, and it says messages from block senders are marked blocked and can either remain in your inbox or move to trash, and it will automatically be marked as red when it moves it to trash as well. So essentially you have control on exactly where you want to put that email and how you want your mail app to interact with any of those emails that you don't want. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.